Hello everyone, so today we're taking a look on how to propagate carnivorous plants from leaf cuttings. Um, as you guys can see here, I have four dishes. Um, four dishes. Um, this one here is a banana. Um, I didn't want to show you guys when I first initially uh, started this because I didn't know if it was really going to work uh, successfully for me. Um, I have been maintaining these in a Ziploc bag uh, at 100% uh, humidity that way. Um, until they actually sprouted like as you see now um, so this is about a month ago that I actually uh, did this I just put down peat moss with perlite and um, just uh, cut the little segments of leaves and just placed them on top of the soil like this um, I made sure it was always moist uh, really moist as you guys can see uh, the moisture on there is really nice um, and here we're just taking a look at some of the plants that pop, sprouted out. Um, those right there are uh, the plants. Um, as you can see, they're popping out of the leaf, uh, leaves. Also the branches. Um, those, those. So yeah, this is a banana. Um, the all red banana. Um, so we got a bunch of plants on that one. And then this one actually was not very successful. Um, it's the Venus flytraps. Um, the only actual leaf, um, as you can see, is the biggest leaf here. Um, that's the only one that actually um, gave out uh, one little bud there on the side. As you can see, those are two leaves. Um, so, um, so that one is actually growing into a plant. Um, but all these other ones, I had placed other ones here. They didn't, uh, they didn't start forming anything. They just started turning uh, black. So, so yeah, right there on that, that my tip of my finger right there. There's the little bud, the little. Um, little plant forming and this one was actually more uh, it looks a lot bigger than most of these other ones um, this is actually the uh, this is the Drosera compensis the Alba oh no it's not um, it's just the Drosera compensis the one with red tentacles um, as you can see the uh, these plantlets are way bigger um, I did plant them at the same time so um, and this one's got less soil and it's a little bit uh, lowered. Maybe that's one of the reasons why these uh, plantlets are a bit bigger. But as you can see, they have like three or four leaves right there. Uh, a lot less uh, sprouting, but uh, a lot bigger plants. And here we have the Alba, uh, the Tricera al albino. Um, that one didn't successfully... Um, bring out too many it only brought like three or four plantlets as you can see maybe right there and right there and some one over here um, but yeah that one wasn't very successful um, so the one that really like you know has a lot is actually banana here and uh, the one that has the lowest obviously being the Venus flytrap so so yeah it's pretty simple all you do is uh, put them on dish or even the sphagnum moss which I do have but I just didn't uh, decide to use that um, I use this and uh, it's successful um, I actually you know got or sprouted plants out of the leaf cuttings from all of them so um, so I will be doing way more um, now that I know that I can uh, do it at my location and actually works at my windowsill so so yeah guys uh, thanks for watching and that was the um, short video of this uh, I will be giving you updates on these um, to see how it's, uh, how they're doing and stuff if I don't kill them so, so yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.